Rapid City Mayor Jason Solomon hosted a town hall Wednesday night to discuss future plans for the city's vision fund. Brad Walton tells us how this proposed ordinance revision could repurpose tax dollars in the next five years. Rapid City's vision fund, generated by sales tax revenue, has a long and complicated history. The vision fund was created initially after the 1972 flood, and it was a penny tax to um, construct the Civic Center. The vision fund has seen many revisions over time, and Mayor Jason Solomon presented his latest proposals at a town hall meeting Wednesday night, focusing on four divisions of fund allocations. Community projects, economic development, the comprehensive plan projects, and a strategic growth revolving fund. Solomon emphasized his goal of shifting the focus of the vision fund from developing private businesses to supporting public projects in this plan for 2025 through 2029. Much of Wednesday's discussion focused on road maintenance, and some attendees disagreed with prioritizing this issue. People are always complaining about potholes and this and that. Roads never brought anybody here, roads never kept anybody here, and roads never have made anybody move away from here. However, Solomon said he has also heard positive feedback regarding the proposed revisions. A lot of folks in the community are like, well, yeah, we should do things that make our community better, invest in our, our parks and our uh, quality of life here and and in projects that will you know enhance this community. Though reactions from town hall attendees were mixed, Solomon said he hopes disagreement and discussion will help to find a plan for the vision fund that works best for everyone. Whatever side you fall on this issue, I hope you understand that I have the best interests of the city at heart when I presented this plan. I trust even those who oppose the plan. They care about the city too. The second reading of the Vision Fund Ordinance Revision will take place at the next Rapid City Council meeting June 17th. More detailed information on proposed fund allocation can be found on CODATV.com. Reporting for CODA Territory News, I'm Brad Walton.